Hi, this is Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install the fuel lines in a two-cycle engine. A common problem many folks will have when installing new fuel lines on a two-cycle engine is that they'll forget the proper routing of the lines. So, we're going to show you a couple of tricks you can use to determine the proper fuel line routing on both a carburetor that has the primer bulb built right into it, as well as a fuel system where the primer bulb is a separate piece. We'll start with the carburetor that has the primer bulb built right in. This type of fuel system is very simple. It consists of a fuel filter which goes into the tank, the fuel line delivering fuel to the carburetor, the primer bulb that sucks the fuel through the carburetor, and a return line that returns any excess fuel back to the fuel tank. So the important thing to remember is that the fuel must flow from the filter into the carburetor and then back out through the return line. Unfortunately, the manufacturer doesn't provide any markings to help you determine which is the input and which is the output side of the carburetor. So the easiest way to approach this system is to just randomly hook up the fuel lines and then do a simple test to see if you had it right. If we don't, then we'll just swap the lines. Here I have a container of fuel and I'm going to put the lines in the fuel and prime it. And you can see in this case we're blowing bubbles through the filter which means that the fuel is flowing through reverse. We should be blowing bubbles from the return line. So we'll need to reverse these lines. So now I'll reinstall the lines just opposite of how I had them before. And test it again. Now you can see the bubbles are being blown by the return line and fuel is being sucked through the filter side exactly how we want it. The fuel system with the remote primer is a little more complex. You'll see here we have the fuel filter in our incoming fuel line. From the carburetor we have the outgoing fuel to the primer bulb and then the return line that returns the fuel back into the fuel tank. The most important thing to remember on this type of a fuel system is that the fuel must be drawn through the carburetor, not pushed into the carburetor. So, the first thing we need to determine is how the fuel flows through our primer assembly. The primer is really nothing more than a pump and a check valve. The fuel will only flow through it one direction. To determine that direction, I'm going to install the fuel lines onto the primer. Now I'll stick the fuel lines in my fuel supply and again watch for the bubbles can see the bubbles are flowing from this line. In fact, if I lift the line, you'll be able to see the fuel flowing out of it. So now we've determined the direction of flow through our primer assembly. As we said before, the important thing here is that fuel gets pulled through our carburetor. And just like before, the manufacturer has given us no indication to tell which is the incoming and which is the outgoing line on our carburetor. So we'll just guess. I'll take the fuel line that we learned before was pulling fuel through it and attach that to one of the ports on the carburetor. Now I'll take my incoming filtered line and attach it to the other. And again I can use my fuel supply to see if we got it right. What you'll see here is the lines are backwards. You'll notice that the primer is taking a very long time to return. So we need to reverse the lines on the carburetor. We 
with the lines reversed, everything should work properly. Just like that. So as you can see, once you know how the fuel systems on a two-cycle engine work, it's easy to determine the proper routing for the fuel lines. We hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to leave us a comment or ask a question.